we made an appointment with the head of the unsolved homicide unit and then he said right so what happens now is that i've got a stack of 700 unsolved homicides and this one goes in the bottom and we said yeah but you don't understand this never has been investigated there was a huge amount of homophobia, and that was the norm. I've been bashed twice. There really was an incredibly violent period when kids were beating and killing gay men. No, it was that bad. The police told me to come to the station. It was all about, this is my punishment for being who I am. The young people weren't aware that it was illegal to bash a gay man. Bashing their poopers. They thought the police supported them. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. At that time, there were almost 30 unsolved gay murders in Sydney that no one ever heard about. Many people out there know who killed these people. There's no question. Bag that. It's a hobby, mate. It's a sport. Just do it for the fun. The deputy coroner has slammed police for not investigating the deaths of three gay men in Sydney in the 1980s. These deaths weren't suicide. It was far from that. Did you think just for a moment it might have been something like a murder? The clothing contained some valuable evidence. We had no idea that it had all been washed. Then they lose a hair sample. That disappeared. They were all doing their best to protect themselves. We had 50 or 60 persons of interest. They eliminated all of them. I haven't found anything that completely eliminates suicide. It's crazy. We were back where we started. It's unfair just to say it was the homophobic police force. The reason the police didn't care enough was because society didn't care enough. All you have is a man who lost his brother and he's just trying to find out what happened. They changed the course of my family's history forever. For what? For what did they get? What?